If you're going to be making uh, collections, you need to integrate with your payment processor. So there's an option to integrate with PayPal, with uh, uh, Stripe, and also Square. So in this case, I integrated with uh, a PayPal. Remember, for integrations, you scroll down and click on integrations, then you uh, enter your details. Now, on the payment settings here, as you can see, I'm connected to PayPal. And the first thing that you can change is the currency. For me, I'm using the US dollars. And then there are payment terms which are available. So we're just going to discuss a bit on the payment terms that you can make. So in this uh, first type, a full payment is required when somebody is booking. So if it's for $100, they have to pay there and then. A second option is to require a deposit amount then the rest of the amount can be paid uh, in the future. So, for example, if it's a payment for something, you can require a, a, a deposit amount for 50 if someone is paying for 100. And then um, you can also put it here such that the client can just pay, pay the full amount uh, for the, the event that they are booking for. Also, if they want a tip, they want to tip um, you, uh, this uh, option is available in Stripe and Square uh, payment processors only, not on PayPal. The next option is to require a percentage. Instead of putting a fixed figure, you can put a percentage deposit. Uh, say uh, people can pay 20% first and then pay the rest later. So while they are booking, they have to pay 20% first. Uh, then after that, they pay you the rest of the amount. Um, also, uh, you can take this option where you say you want the payment in person. You want cash. So uh, while they are booking, they then will need to come to you and make the payment in person instead of a payment processor taking the payment. Another option is to allow payment now or after booking so the person can choose between the two while they are booking they choose the option to pay now or after the booking uh, that's uh, more of a loose way of dealing with things uh, especially when you are dealing with international clients you might just need to collect your money before uh, but if you're dealing with somebody you know and you've been dealing with for quite some time you can allow this to be done you also have an option to customize for each payment um, each payment for each kind of uh, event. In this case, I have uh, a consultation, onboarding. Here are the events that require payments. So you can customize to say, I want full payment for com computer maintenance lessons, but I will just require a deposit for uh, computer hardware maintenance lessons. So for me, I will just want to leave it at require full payment. And once that is done, um, you click save and you're done with payment settings.